every time Mike announces his name, Akonga, I'm Mike Taya. And yeah. you can find me at, at Abin Danzizu, I'm Bidzideshke, and you can find me at Where else would, would you be? Oh, Claret, yeah. Oh, and Claret, by the way. Yeah. Rude. Every? Every Saturday. Yes. No, Friday and Saturday, unanipata pale. Yeah. Na kwambia, unajosei at least we can, you know. Kidogo tu. We can hang out kidogo, kidogo. kidogo. See, ile, ile, ile mingi yeah. sana kama ya, uh, you know who? Small, small. Ile small, small. So, I think it's our next interview. Uh, ni very, very interesting. Unajua, COVID-19 ever since it okay, a lot of people have been out of work. Because, yes. unajua, obviously, we need to follow the government directives and stay home whenever possible. Uh, but unfortunately, Pia Bado kuna, the extreme cases in Mali, Mtome lose their, their job. So we want to talk about remote work. And uh, our guest today is Agweyu. I hope I'm pronouncing this pro properly. Yes. I, I was practicing even before the interview. <laughs> Agweyu Musilivi. Yes. Yes, you said it right. Perfect. Agweyu <laughs> Musilivi. Yes. Karibu kwenye the East Circuit. Thank you very much. I'm now let's talk uh, about uh, your work with the uh, startup link. Uh, before that, let's talk about your school work, how you got started. Um, so I studied landscape design mm. from JQuat. Okay. Jujab Boys. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and when I finished, I was looking for jobs, but I didn't want necessarily a nine to five job. Mm. I didn't feel like that was in me. Mm. So I started doing research, try and find flexible ideas that I can be able to do. Yes. And then I started, um, my first search was work from home, then work from home, and then I learned about remote work, and then I started searching for jobs. And I remember when I was starting, I didn't know anyone who was doing anything in the remote space. And I was telling my mom about it and she was like, she wants to see you in the morning going mm. to work. Yeah? yeah, and I think she was like, um, finding a local interview is safer than mm. waiting for something that, you know, at a dream at a Uncharted waters. Yes. Yeah. But then, so to make her happy, I think I had only one in, in person interview. And I was like, Mom, I'm going for an interview today. And she was like, hey, you and your Vizuri, that is very nice. And so I did that one, um, that one time interview and I know I botched it very badly because it's not what I wanted. Was it intentional? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Uh. But subconsciously when you talk about interview, you weren't ready like, for that yes, job. Yes, I was like, uh uh, upper stomach. Mm. Then I started um uh then I got my first interview for remote work and I was so happy. And then when you pass Zilingia, mom was like, It's okay, Nisa what you just do what you want. <laughs> uh but then one time I was um when, you, when you're working remotely, you, uh, you start making friends and stuff like that. So you are, I was talking to someone on a Facebook group. He had posted something and I was like, I'm very interested. I'd like to know more. And con uh, coincidentally, that person was my boss mm. for Startup Blink, who was Eli David. And so we had an interview and it's a whole process. And then I ended up getting the job. Uh, this was, I think, a year after my graduation. Yes. Nice. So thus far, how's the journey in the remote work? I really like it very much because mm. I'm very flexible. How are the hours? I think that's the main question people back at home would, would want yes. to know. Yes. Um, the hours depend on the company that you're working for. Mm. If you're in Kenya right now and you're working for a U.S. company, it means that you're a night owl. Mm. So you're not going to work and then you sleep during the day. Mm. And if you're working for like a European company, then that means you're probably on the same time zone. So you just work during the day and sleep normally at night. But it depends with the discipline. Because an employer might tell you, I need, f I need five hours from you every day. So those five hours, it's, it all depends on you. You, know, to, you do whatever you want as long as you finish those five hours. Mm. So you have to plan your day. It might be flexible, but you have to have a plan during the day that this is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to take a break at this time. And I'm going to do this next. Nice. Uh, Nishke, mm -hmm. Nishke, remote work? Uh, yeah, I say I don't know. I'm thinking about it, but anyway, I said so to learn more. But, but with the remote work, I'm guessing it requires more discipline. Yes, it uh, does. Because, you know, with a 9 to 5, you're there. You're there. So you have no office. option other than to work to because work. what else will you do mm -hmm. in the office? Yeah. But when you're at home, there's all these other distractions. Yes. The fridge is there. You uh -huh. <laughs> looking Make at a stool fridge. Exactly. <laughs> so how, how was it? Was it difficult to initially gain that discipline? Yes, it, mm. uh, it is kind of difficult. But at the same time, I think I have, I'm a, I'm a workaholic. So my, my problem was 
taking a break. Mm. Yes, my biggest problem was taking a break. We should all have that problem. Yeah. We should all have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah, that, that's something the youth need to have <laughs> as a problem. Yeah, and I remember I used to work till like 12 midnight, mm -hmm. and um, my mom would come and be like, "Hey, kwani oni kazi gani?" Yeah, but now I've just learned to have a system where if I am working during the day, um, I take breaks after like every one hour because I'm looking at the computer the whole day. So take a break after one hour, go to the gym in the evenings, you know, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, now let's talk about now remote work. Uh, set a blink aside. Mm -hmm. uh, what would you advise the youth in terms of remote work? Is it something they should definitely uh, go after? Yes, I think it's something they should go after. Mm. Um, I think it's something that has so much possibilities considering that every youth right now has access to a smartphone has access to a laptop. So if you have access to a smartphone and the internet, you can start from there. I remember when I was starting, my biggest problem was the Kenyan space is full of content creators. So it's either you are doing something with YouTube or you're writing or you're editing and stuff like that. And that was not my space. But there's a lot of potential in that space alone. And then you have these classic jobs like what I am doing or an, a design job or administrative jobs because they're there virtually. So all you have to do is like start your research and I tell um, people to start with Facebook because I don't use Facebook personally all the time, but I am in a lot of remote work groups and you can find, you can always find something there. There's always some work to yes, be found there. There's always some work to be found there. Join as many remote groups as you can, digital nomads um, and work from home groups. What, what's, the, what's the salary, salary range? <laughs> <laughs> I think <laughs> but you need to do it. If we're being honest, but hey, this is something we need to address even before you continue uh, with the interview. When it comes to your first job, because yes. I know a lot of you know uh, fresh graduates are looking at, are watching the show. Mm -hmm. I think the most important thing is gaining that experience. First of all, the most important thing is breaking into that space. Mm -hmm. Because it will take a while. You can decide that you want a, a paying job immediately, mm. or you can decide to do an internship. You immediately want to buy the Benz and the BMW. Yes, mm -hmm. yes but that's going to be very disappointing for you. So if you decide that you want to buy the Benz immediately, my friend, Tashinda Apple. So I think the best way to like get into this space is to accept an internship. Mm. And internships, there are some that do pay and some that don't pay. But most, of, most remote employees are very conscious on how much um, energy that you're using or time that you're using. So they always give you something small, either you get for Wi-Fi, mm. or get something small for your laptop. Or Just something. to see how you are. Yes, yes. Yeah, because yeah, they're putting blind trust in you. So they have to make sure that the space that you're in is a good one to be able to, be able to deliver the job. Now, once you're established mm -hmm. as a remote worker, yes. what's the salary range? Uh, the salary range um, depends on the type of company you're going for. If you're lucky enough and get a Europe, um, an American company, that is like really good money because they pay by the hour. Um, give us a rough. So it all depends with the how much you spend, but mm. for American companies, they do from seven and a half dollars per hour. Wow, okay. Mm -hmm. So that's really good money in that's Kenya. About, that's about uh, 700 plus shillings so per that's hour. That's 800 bob in per hour. Depending now on the hours, hours you put in. Yes, depending on the hours that you put in. So that's mm -hmm. 750 mm -hmm. per hour, mm -hmm. and then you can go from there depending on the hours that you're putting in. And I'm gonna smartphone. Smart <laughs> yeah, your phone is not just for <laughs> this <laughs> weird, Snapchat weird thing. social. Th there's this new thing, TikTok. TikTok. Nah, you, you can make money out of this thing, yeah? This thing. Make <laughs> some money out of it. Even obviously. Anyway. And yeah, then if you're somewhere <laughs> Instagramming your <laughs> shoes, I know. Uh, and then if, you're, list. <laughs> if you're looking for like a European company, that one is a bit less. I think they start with like three to four dollars per hour, uh -huh. which is not really bad, mm. if you're, especially if you're starting. So three to four dollars per hour. Or it, again, uh, sometimes it depends with the contract you have the employer. Because I tell people that when you go into the remote workspace, always make sure you have a contract. 
because this you you don't know these people and you're probably never going you've to meet these people. Yeah, and you've not met face yes. to face. Yeah. yeah, you've not met face to face. You don't know how real they are. Yeah. So if they give you a job, make sure that um, there's a contract in place. Uh, the negotiation might take like two months, but at the end of the day, you're going to be on the safe side. You know, you know, with the remote work, it reminds me of something that was actually uh, popping a while back. You, you remember those uh, P PTC jobs, pay-to-click jobs? Oh. You remember them? Uh, a, a lot of people are trying to deviate away from uh -huh. them because of, you know, now the money part. Mm -hmm. Because it was, you're there for hours, then at, at the end of the day, you have like a dollar, you know. Mm -hmm. So, how different is it? I genuinely don't know about PTC jobs. Yeah. Um, and I personally try and stay away from freelance websites mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like Upwork and Fiverr, especially if you're starting, it might be really hard to establish yourself. Yeah. So uh, in as much as you might join those websites, always try and find other interviews. But I know people who in Upwork are making like two, three thousand dollars every month. So they're already established. Mm. So it just depends. So the key thing is to become established. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And just like with any other job, uh, start where you are. Yes. Start where you true. are. Just like uh, Umeambiwa Apa, Tafadhali, if you get that internship, get that internship yes, and start where the, you are. Take the internship. Like, um, the biggest, I, I, I know that there's some people who are thinking, oh, Nikipata, you interview, what should I do and everything. But I've been coaching people and we talk about how to pitch yourself in an interview, both using your CV and the cover letter, because you're not going to meet this person face to face, so you're probably going to the first interaction you'll have is through the email. Mm. So you talk about how to pitch yourself in the email and then how to pitch yourself um, on your CV, even though you are still starting. Because mm. I started from somewhere, obviously. Speaking of starting from somewhere, as in, mm -hmm. let's say you're just a youth somewhere mm -hmm. or a graduate, mm -hmm. or maybe Mtutuako from four and you're trying to, you know, pay your own school fees. Mm -hmm. uh, what would you need? How do you start? So uh, what you need, of course, is either a smartphone or a laptop. Make sure you have internet. And then make sure that anytime you have an interview, you go to a quiet place. A quiet place. Yes. Is this interview like a, a first time thing? Yes, yes. Okay. It's like Skype or Zoom interviews. So you, you don't just go there with your nighty. Honestly, you, really you dress up for the interview, yeah, even though it, it's over the phone. Honest, yeah? I, I generally think it doesn't matter because the person <laughs> is going to see you from the neck up. So you might <laughs> well you might say that. Vivo, you might say you that but I know I know I, I'm thinking to kind of scale probably <laughs> and I want to convert and then they say okay nia do you wear a nia ngoma I mean obviously you have to have some decorum but it's mm. not really as tight as an in person interview kunya tendo nyonge ties juu nini brush viatu or anything okay okay maybe the shoes you can let that be yeah. but the, the from the part. waist up yes from the waist up at yeah. least look presentable chana mm. nyole eh chana nyole Come on, when you dim, put some light makeup if you want. That mm. is, it's up, it's up to you. But boy, car, gonna dread it, car. But it, it's not really, it doesn't really matter. You'll find that maybe the person interviewing you has tattoos all the all the way to his neck. So. Ah, okay. To coffee. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Thank you so much for uh, letting us know more about remote work. And just like she said, this is something you definitely need to look into. Uh, but. Uh, for starters, mm -hmm. uh, what website would you recommend or uh, what job would you recommend ah, for someone in Kenya right now? For someone in Kenya right yeah. now, as I said, content creation is really big in Kenya right now. Content creation in terms of? In terms of either you're doing stuff on YouTube or mm. on Facebook mm -hmm. or also you're doing writing. If you're a creative with writing mm. and editing and stuff like that, mm -hmm. there's a lot of space in Kenya right now for that. Mm -hmm. But also you can go for customer service. Um, customer service because when you're working remotely, you're probably just going to be answering people via email. Mm -hmm. It would be a big deal. So customer service would be a good place to start. But you need the voice for it. Not really. Because you won't be talking to people like on the phone. Uh. You'll be answering emails and chat requests. Ah, so yes. that, 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 that one is more attitude yeah, than anything. Yeah. Yes, so you yeah. just have to like um, teach yourself how to convey a very good personality via mm. text. And then social media, yeah. social media, because that, that's, that's always a good space to start. Yeah. Social media, either marketing or management. Um, what else? I think those, those are the good places to start. Um, you can also do research and data entry. Because when you're doing research, most likely the company will tell you what it wants and how they go about it and the tools that they use. So all you have to do is just, you know, perfect your art.
And once you gain that CV, you can actually make a lot of money. Yes, you can make a lot of money. It's very mm. real. And where can someone find you to get more information or maybe just to chat and get some advice from you? Um, so I am Agweyu1, Agweyu, A-G-W-E-Y-U, one, the number, at uh, Twitter and Instagram. Mm -hmm. And then Agweyu1 on Facebook, which is A-G-W-E-Y-U, O-N-N-E. Mm. Yes. Thank you so much for coming to the East Side Kids and enlightening us. Yes. Any mm. <laughs> parting shot for the youth? Um, if you're in a position to get into the remote workspace, please do. Mm. Um, you can make a lot of money. Just be patient, obviously. It might take a while, especially if you're in a Kenyan space or mm -hmm. in an African space because there's some people who you might end up getting an interview with and they're very shocked. Like, oh my God. You know English. Kenya has in internet. <laughs> wow. This is very surprising. <laughs> and your English is very good. So, yeah, it's true. So just mm. be... Um, and patience. Yes, be patient mm. with them. And the most important thing is your output. What does your work say about you? If your work is excellent, then it really doesn't matter. Nice. Thank you so much, Madam Agui, for coming through to the East mm -hmm. Circuit. Can I request? Nishkena Joa. No, no. I got trigger ready. Can I request? Yeah, I'm going to ask Yes, I see a request. I'm going to ask you to ask me to ask me to ask you to ask me Thank you. I hope next time we come to have a conversation about Gengeto. <laughs> Not really. Yeah, no, no, it's like this conversation. Gengeto is going to ask me. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Zakata. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I like vibing to it, but now it's about the content. So, maybe, That's a conversation maybe, maybe, maybe. that has never but ended. You mm. know, people are not thinking like, this is what the youth want right now. Mm. Because when you get a cell, if uh. nobody's consuming it. So there, there are consumers, yes. They are, yeah, there are but consumers. But is it, you know, consume, mm -hmm. but is everything good for you? Not everything is good for you, but everything can be good for you in moderation. <laughs> Hey, you're not going to be scared. Hey, you're not going to be scared. That's another thing to add in the conversation that we will have eventually. eventually. I think we need to call Ochungulo family and have a sit down. <laughs> upper, upper on the east side. But until then, I remember the question of the day is, if you find your partner, your boyfriend slash girlfriend cheating, na unajibu? In the act. In the room, unajibu sasa. Or in the act. In the act. Yani tuwa tuwa. Yeah. Tuwa tuwa in the act. Yeah. What would you do in that scenario? Um, so first of all, I'm not even a person to make a fuss. Mm -hmm. I will just get out, let you guys finish. Mm -hmm. And then, nice. probably after you finish, mm. I will not even probably, I will have a conversation with you because I know it's the last conversation I'm having with you. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Will so it be a civil conversation? Yes, it will be a civil conversation because I really hate destructive arguments. Mm. Let's have a constructive argument about it. This is what you have done and it's unforgivable. So you understand that you've made a mistake. And then you know that I'm going to leave. So, okay. I, I don't know why. I, I feel like the ladies are lying on yeah. this one. <laughs> because, because why are you even talking about it? It has, it has happened. Exactly. What, so what's there to talk about? Talking about it. Be Can't you just walk away when and when you can anger? Because I will need closure myself. Now, I know it has already happened and that's why any mistake is happening. Yeah. But I will be what like... Closure sasa ni gani ngine? Closure ni kumwa ya tumemaliza na niyo story meisha. Ladies, anyway. Let us know at Y254.